Hey, this is TerraToots with a quick tutorial on animating just about anything in TerraGen 4. In this video, we'll be creating this growing mountain scene. In previous videos, we've covered animating cameras, objects, and clouds. But it doesn't have to stop there. If you glance around the user interface in TerraGen, you may notice this A symbol next to many of the parameters. That symbol means the parameter can be animated, and you'll see it show up across every tab in Terrigen, from objects to terrain to shaders to lighting. Here's a quick example of how you can use this parameter animation to achieve some interesting and unique effects. Starting out in the default world, let's open the animation panel and make sure we're at frame 1. Then we'll go to the terrain tab and add an alpine fractal layer. This will create a large mountainous landscape. Now for the animation. Let's start out with displacement amplitude, which controls the height of the terrain. Change the displacement to zero, then click the animation button and set animation key. Then in the animation panel, We'll go to the last frame, set the displacement to 2500, and add another key. As we go from frame 1 to frame 100, our mountain height will increase. We'll also animate noise octaves from 0 to 6, which will increase the details of our mountains over time. Unlike the displacement amplitude, this one doesn't animate smoothly, so you'll see some jumps in the final animation, but it makes for an interesting effect. Notice, however, that at frame 100, this red marker shows up in the preview. That means our camera is underground at the end of the animation. Let's fix this by also animating the camera. Return to frame 1, go to the Camera tab, and set animation keys for position and rotation. Then, on frame 100, we'll raise the camera up and to the side so that it's no longer underground. Make sure to copy this view to the render camera and then make another key for position and rotation. Finally, let's animate a snow layer. I have a simple snow layer set up over here in shaders. Let's enable it and go to the altitude constraints. What we're going to do here is animate the minimum altitude so that as our mountains go up, the snow comes down. We'll key it at 500 for frame 1 and 0 for frame 100. If we play our animation, we can get a preview of what this camera motion is going to look like. It's a little bit more difficult to get a preview of the animated terrain, but if we render this all out, we'll get something like this, with terrain, shaders, and camera all moving. 